So the crypto space uses a lot of slang terms. And if you're running into some problems of understanding and grasping exactly what they're talking about, here are top 10 crypto slang terms that are gonna make all the difference in your experience in the crypto space. My name is Otto Gomes. I've been in the space for about 10 years now, and I wanna teach you all the cool words that are being created through this space. All right, so the first one is hodler, H-O-D-L-E-R. Essentially, that's just to hold. Uh, another, word, another meaning they gave to this word is hold on for dear life. So the reason we say to hold is because these protocols are just executing programs. And as time moves forward, because the only constant in blockchain is time, as time moves forward, the value has to go up in value because of scarcity, because it's finite, because of all these things that are hard coded, and makes it worth it. So just hold. Second one is FOMO, fear of missing out. That's an old term that's been used here and here and there as the years came by, but in crypto it became known as this emotional state of wanting to get into the project when it's already too late. <laughs> um, whenever there's that emotion of uh, missing out, that's how they manipulate people into buying that specific trade. So FOMO. Don't do it. Third one is DeFi. That's a decentralized finance. And that's just a term created to describe the peer-to-peer -peer transactions and the benefits of banking peer-to-peer -peer in that crypto space. Always make sure to DeFi, that's the way to the future. Peer-to-peer -peer banking, not with the third-party banks. DAOs. DAO is sort of a new concept. It's been around for about three, four years or so. Uh, it's decentralized autonomous organization. And that's just a way to organize a group of people to pull money together to then reinvest into different projects. Uh, it's sort of like a blockchain-based VC. Uh, this, I believe this to be truly the way forward for most uh, sovereign projects. BTFD, buy the fucking dip. <laughs> that's a term we use to describe just buying the dip. Whenever a coin or a project is starting to fall in price, and it gets to a certain point where it starts to literally bleed into the streets, we call it, or uh, falling like a, a knife, trying to catch a falling knife. That is the time when everybody is in despair, that's the time to buy. That's a rule that I've set for myself in the last decade and it's really made a difference in profit taking and you know buying the bottom. So make sure you BTFD, buy the fucking dip. FUD. FUD is a new term created to sort of describe the fear and uncertainty and doubt that's created by media, that's created by the projects themselves so that it can create the emotional response in you to sell. So don't fall for the FUD. D-Y-O-R, do your own research. That's a constant theme in the crypto space. You really have to put in the time, put in the work, put in the research to understand the industry. So every time you get into a new project, make sure you D-Y-O-R, wrecked, R-E-K-T. It's, it's just slang for being wrecked. It's when um, you make a decision that doesn't pan out and you lose. Um, I honestly believe to lean into that. You know, that is a word to kind of describe something negative that happened to you, but that's just a learning experience. You know, um, how, how can we appreciate the light if you don't experience that dark? So make sure you fail once in, once in a while and get wrecked. <laughs> NFTs, I'm sure you guys have heard that before, non-fungible token. That is something to describe a uh, digital uniqueness. It's something that connects to an individual's art, an individual's property, um, something that is very unique that needs a representation or a digital receipt. That's what an NFT is. Uh, and, and it started with the art world, but I think it's transitioning into real estate and blockchain gaming with DLCs and skins. That's a multi-billion dollar market. So make sure you guys check out NFTs because that is the way forward. And here are three terms that sort of describe a similar type of mechanism. Mining, staking, and now LPing or liquidity providing. Um, so mining is when you use hardware to mint more coins. Staking is when you buy the coins and you lock it into the protocol and then the protocol goes, cool, you're not gonna sell, here's some rewards. And then the last one, LPing, liquidity providing, 
that's when you pull money together into a smart contract, into the into a blockchain that's secure. And the protocol, the actual mechanism itself, pays you interest. It pays you an APY or APR for providing the liquidity. Those are really cool, simple steps or ways to make passive income in the crypto space. So check it out, staking, mining, and LPing in Dallas. So this is just 10 terms that I could think off the top of my head to help you have a better experience in the crypto space, but there's many more out there and there's new ones being created every day. So the last piece of advice I can give is always use discernment. Use your gut, use your intellect, do the research and make sure that you're, you understand what those words actually mean and why they're being used. That'll just change your experience in the space in general. If you want to learn more, make sure you check out my website, autogomes.live. Follow me on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, at autogomes. And always gamify your abundance.